Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart one and a half quart fruit scoop dessert maker. It's great because it not only makes ice cream, but you can also make frozen fruit desserts. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful sorbet. But the great thing about this ice cream maker and, and dessert maker is that you can turn seasonal fresh fruits into really great desserts that are um, really delicious and good for you at the same time. But if you want to be really decadent, you can also make full fat ice cream. So let's look at the unit. I want to turn it around on the side just so you can see. Um, it's really easy to operate. It has an on off switch here. Just turn it on, turn it off when you're done simple and easy to operate. I'm just going to turn it back around. I'm going to show you um, some of the parts that come with it. This is your lid. This is also a, a little insert and this insert allows you to be able to look through um, the window while the machine is actually operating to see how your ice cream is progressing. So that's that. This is also your freezer bowl. You can see how icy it is. We put it in the freezer. We recommend that you do it at least for eight hours, but it's best to do it like overnight. So we have to do a little bit of planning ahead. There's two types of paddles. This is the fruit paddle. This is the one that you're going to use when you're using doing anything that um, is, has fresh fruit in it. And then this one, which is already in the unit, is the ice cream maker paddle. I'm just going to show you how this comes apart. The easiest way to do this is this is your regular ice cream paddle. I'm just going to put this aside and I'm going to show you because we're going to do fruit today. I'm going to show you how to put the fruit um, paddle in. You just put it in like so and then you're going to take this bar, push it down and then you're going to actually turn it. I'm going to just turn it to lock it into place like so. So that's your paddle going to put the paddle inside the unit like so until it mounts. There's actually a little square on the bottom and there's a square on the bottom of the bowl. Make sure you have that lined up properly like so. And then you would just put your lid on and you'd be ready to um, start making your ice cream. Now I don't know how easy this I'm going to just tip this over so you can see but if you see the this lid insert you can actually line it up so that you can pour your ingredients straight through without having the lid off. But so that I don't make a mess today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just take the lid off. Now, the, I'm making a berry sorbet today, which I mentioned. What you need to do first is you take all of your fruit and you cook it on top of the stove until it's become, the fruit becomes very tender. Um, and with that, you're also going to add, I think about, it's about a half a cup of sugar. And then when that's done, you're going to let it cool. And what's going to happen, it's actually going to look like this. It almost looks like a jam. But it's really um, re the fruit cooked down, reduced, and it becomes very tender. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put it inside our frozen dessert maker. Now, hopefully I won't make too much of a mess. It smells really good. So this was basically... Um, the orange peel, which you see there, it's also was the um, strawberries, the raspberries, blueberries. I'm just gonna, okay. Just gonna put that down. Then all we're going to do is put our lid on. And like I mentioned, we're just gonna turn it on. What's gonna happen takes between 15 and 20 minutes, but you can keep your eye on it just by um, looking down into the bowl and you can see how it's progressing. So all we're gonna do is turn it on and in about 15, 20 minutes, we're gonna have a beautiful finished berry sorbet. So let's check on our sorbet. I'm gonna turn the machine off so we can take it out. We just take the lid off, put it over here going to um, remove the paddle. It's going to use a spatula to do this because it's really thick just to get it out. I don't want to waste anything. It's really thick and delicious looking. You want to be the one that actually gets to um, maybe lick the paddle on this. I'm just going to get a little bit off so I can scoop it out and show it to you. But make sure you, you know, do a good job getting the excess out. It actually might be easier to take the paddle out. So, 
just scoop some into, oh, it looks really delicious and it's good for you. Nice fresh fruit. Not a lot of um, sugar in here, but it's gonna be really flavorful and delicious. It's a great way too to get your kids to have some um, great fruit and still have fun doing it. The other thing um, I wanna to mention too is if, for instance, you wanna get this a little firmer, just put it in an airtight container and put it in the freezer and then you can um, taste it later. So there you have it, the Cuisinart Fruit Scoop Ice Cream Maker.